already being involved and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm doing much better. I feel a lot better. It's still hard, but... Sometimes you got to close those doors that's not meant to be in your life. Yeah. You know, so you, so, you can, so you can make better changes for yourself. You know, it, everybody ain't for you like you think they for you. And you, know? you, you'll, you'll kill yourself trying to make them for yeah. you. Yeah. And when, like, when the universe and God try to close the door, let them close it. Let them close it. Don't, don't try to keep it open. Because sometimes we could be stupid and try to keep it open. We're like, you know what? They, they, the God and the universe is, is trying to close this door for a reason because it ain't meant to be. And once you accept that, you realize you was being protected. So exactly. that's why I was just like, you know what? I You got to surrender it. I had to kind of surrender and give it to God because, look, I was literally going to kill myself. I have now, even though we haven't talked in so long, my baby's six months now. He's so advanced, so big. And it's just, that's what's keeping me going. So. And it's all that matters, you know. You um, open up a new door and just and begin new life from there. You know, get, sure. get, get, get into you. Get into you. Get yeah. into you as a, as a woman. Get into you as a black woman, as a queen, as a girl. Get into the things that you'd like to do for yourself. Get into knowing who you are. I had Literally. to get to know myself all over again. Yeah. Know myself all over again. And I'm still doing it because one is hard. Postpartum is not just three months, two months. Uh, no. Here. It, it can last a very long time. And for me, it's like, I'm sorry, I'm a little congested. My baby got me sick. But um, so, so you... And you say you you write are you writing your journal to to kind of cope with that? Yes, because I feel like I kind of made a name for it. I do a lot of well, I don't do a lot of now, but I found myself when I was stressing a lot of like you know internet shaming. I'm like this nigga just this and that, and this is I, I people don't like you for real. They just like the stuff that you're putting all over the internet. And I had to realize that I'm venting to the wrong people. I need to be venting to maybe some paper that I can burn and God. Exactly. You know, just like just like I had a friend and he said he was paying, he was going to therapy and he was paying his therapy and all this money and he just felt like his therapist wasn't really listening to him. You know, right. and sometimes therapies are not for people. Sometimes you can talk to some real people that's going to do some real shit. Mm -hmm. When I say real that's why shit. That's like a therapist don't always work and do, but you sometimes you just need people who experienced it, and their wisdom and their mess ups can help guide you because yeah. Then. So you know what I did was I told him all the mess up shit that I went through. I was like, you know, I've been trauma, I've been molested, I've been shamed, I've been all these things. But you know what? All the things I went through has made me a stronger person. That I'm here today to talk about it and educate you on what I've been through. And he's like, you know what? I think I needed to hear that. I said, yes. You need to hear information from people that have been through shit. Not someone just sitting there getting paid for their for their time. You need someone that's going to just give you good energy and bless you with good words 